Hello everyone, so today it is my pleasure to bring you the sequel to my casual date night outfits video from about a month ago. This video will be all about dressy date night outfits. There are a couple of categories that I've split this video up into and the first is the most challenging, which is date night after work. Now it's groundbreaking, I know, that I chose a little black dress for this particular option. Now the trick is to pick the right one. You don't want it to be too low cut, but you also don't want it to be too suit-like either. It should be something a little bit flowy, a little bit slinky, and something that will make you feel amazing and like it fits you really really well. This one is a silk jersey from Tory Burch and you can see how easily I converted it from day to night just by switching up my cream Club Monaco blazer for a really soft bright pashmina and I kept the same shoes because I feel like the rock studs are as sexy as they are also classic so I can pull them off for the office and I used my wallet on chain, which I just shortened the chain for. It's a really convertible little bag. One of the things I love to do, of course, is wear pearls when it comes to date night. I feel like they are such a classic and you can dress them up or down and layer them more or less depending on how opulent the occasion is. For this particular outfit, I'm wearing my rose gold Nouvelle Pearls. As you guys know, I just launched my jewelry line at NouvellePearl.com. I'm so enjoying sharing it with you, answering all of your questions. If you have any, make sure that you leave them down below and if you haven't checked it out yet I will link all of the social media and website links for my necklaces down below including which ones I wore with which outfits so you can get an idea of how I like to style them when it comes to sultry evenings out. As well as linking my Nouvelle Pearls down below I will also link some options for each of the outfits that I'll be showing you. If I can't find the exact dress then I will include my favorite options that are currently on the market for for each of the different looks. While the first outfit was meant for a specific purpose of wearing from the office to date night, the second outfit is meant to go to any date. And I think it's especially useful because sometimes the special person in your life might want to organize a surprise date where you don't know exactly where you're going, or also you may decide to kind of play it by ear and decide what you want to do at the point of meetup, which makes it especially difficult to get dressed in the morning. Trust me, I faced this situation many times, so here are all my tricks. My favorite silhouette for an everyday, really easy date is a fit and flare dress because I think it's very flirty, it's also very comfortable, and you can see from this dress, even though the spaghetti straps are not ideal, you could definitely get away with topping it with a blazer or cardigan and it would work for the office as well. I really like the way the dress is neutral but still has a fun print that's a little bit graphic and modern to keep the look from being too dated. It allows you to pair it with really classic accessories and create a look that's still fun, still young, and that you can personalize for your own style very easily. So for me, I paired it with some really pretty glittery block heels. These are actually from Banana Republic, which is one of my favorite secret places to get high-end looking shoes for a bargain price. You can see they have really fun details. And for jewelry, I decided to layer up some of my classic white Nouvelle Pearls. I love the way they look when you layer them up because they kind of intertwine a little bit naturally. You can even twist them up a little bit more together to create a curated one necklace double strand look. And I love the way it all comes together. I also recently splurged on a pair of diamond studs, which are my first, to celebrate the launch of my jewelry line and congratulate myself on my first business. And I really love them. So if you want to see a video about that, let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to film a diamond buying guide, which sounds so opulent, but there's nothing I love more than jewelry. And then finally, I finished off the look with my classic Chanel flap in the medium size emerald green chevron. I find a medium sized, really chic little bag like this is the most convenient for date nights because you can still fit all your lip gloss, but you don't feel like you're tugging around a huge tote. For my final outfit, 
outfit, I decided to kick it up a little with a fun, off the shoulder, quite sexy dress. So in this last part of the video, I'd like to share with you my tips for making a slightly sexier, more va va -voom dress work for the everyday. So this dress is a real cheapie from Dynamite. It's a little bit inspired by Gucci or Dolce & Gabbana. Very romantic, but I love the way that it still has little tiny straps. I find it easier to wear because you can still wear a bra underneath it as opposed to if it was completely strapless. I really like the print. It's very delicate and dainty, but the pop of red makes it extra sexy and easy to pair with fun other red accessories or black accents, depending on how colorful you want to go with the outfit. Because there is a lot going on with my fun little red Soho bag, I decided to keep it really simple with my classic white pearls worn short with the bracelet detached. So it's the same necklace that I was wearing earlier on with my graphic black and white dress, but it's converted since the necklaces are fully adjustable. So each necklace that is purchased can be worn many different ways for many different occasions. In the last shot, you could get a good look of the shoes that I'm wearing, which are my comfiest summer heels. I find that a black, slightly more chunky heel like this helps to dress down the outfit a little bit so that it's more appropriate for the West Coast and you'll be able to wear it to more different venues. If I was going out for a dressier evening out, I would probably layer up some more pearls and switch out the shoes for some high strappy stilettos in black or nude and you'd have a whole different outfit from the same basic flirty dress. I hope you found this video on dressy date night outfits useful and got a good look up close at some of the different ways I like to wear my Nouvelle pearls. It's one of the first videos I'll be doing out of a long line of different inspiration including upcoming fall fashion videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.